thank you very much. Um, thank you very not, uh, much. <laughs> then I would like to ask you uh, at first, everybody has the harmonica? Yeah. I can see, okay. So can I, uh, am I allowed to show something in the harmonica, right? Okay. Yeah, I'd say so, yes. Great. Uh, because uh, that was the first I wanted to show you at the beginning. Um, that was a, a song uh, which was playing uh, George Benson, my uh, favorite also guitar, one of the favorite guitar players. And this is the first position with the harmonica. That means for everybody who does not know it, that means I have D harmonica and Eberhard uh played also in the d key uh d major exactly and at the beginning i want to show something because we will try to do it also together this is uh, my point that i want to uh, play with you today i made a kind of uh background when uh eberhard was playing his solo uh, on the guitar i was just doing like that <laughs> That was the first uh, uh, thing that you can also learn how to how to link uh, how to play with somebody if you don't have to if you don't want to play too much and somebody want to improvise and I'm telling like that tukutiki tukutiki this is the our our speak our language harmonica <laughs> uh, language so you can try to tell. Um, I think if you want to um, do like that, then the best solution is that harmonica uh, sounds uh, um, uh, the best. It's when you play the holes from one till five or from one till four at the beginning of the harmonica. You see, from one till four or five. Mouth out like that. And then you can tell two tiki tuku tiki two tiki tuku tiki two tiki tuku tiki. Let's play together. I will play with you and with Eberhard, and we can play a little bit like that, okay? One, two, three, four. <laughs> then play with us. Exactly. And you can even just do combine with the middle. Because the whole harmonica is very good for that. And also what, what you can do, what I do very often is like play octaves with the harmonica. That means uh, if you want to play some kind of chord or octave, which suits to this key, you can play, for example, one, the whole one and whole four is the same tone. So you have to put your tongue on the whole two and three, like that. <laughs> it looks a little bit funny, but it was like that. And your mouth uh, on the fifth, um, 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 hold, hold. <laughs> like that. Look. And this one I played also with Eberhard. And if you, if you think it's, it could be at the beginning uh, too difficult and you are not sure if it sounds really good, then you can put your on the like that your finger on the five, uh, fifth uh, hole, and then you can put a kind of sheet of paper uh, on the seventh and third hole, and you can then be sure that it's, uh, it sounds uh, okay. And you have this octave like one and four, and two and five, I mean holes, three and six, and you can put the tongue like through the whole harmonica like that. <laughs> So you can try to combine that with this uh, with this octave, and you can also combine with the whole chord like D major and two tiki tuku tiki or like this riki tiki 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 how you want. That the rhythm is just driving to tiki tuku tiki two tiki tuku tiki because everything is your time. Let's try to do it again, and then I will show you something um, after that. One, two, three. Four. 
Everything. Everything's cute. The whole harmonica. You can also combine. You can hear the whole harmonica. Thank you very much, Isahat. You can hear the whole harmonica suit because this is the first position. So I want to give you a little bit uh, sh that you're more sure if you improvise because this is what I want to do with you today. Uh, that each tone, um, um, it blow out, when you blow out, suits when you want to improvise. And of course, now I want to tell you something. Uh, maybe somebody, some, uh, some of you know it. If not, then I will tell it. Um, the basic is pentatonic, is a scale. Uh, should I tell something more about pentatonic? I would like to see something like that, then I will, okay. Okay, great, I will tell. Mm -hmm. Pentatonic, because I want to tell you at the beginning what it is. Pentatonic is a scale, and I'm telling the, the um, uh, pupils mostly like that because when you play normal, da, de, 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 when you play blow out and blow in in the whole harmonica, you have the 100% uh, guarantee not. You have not this guarantee if you want to improvise. But pentatonic, there are five uh, notes uh, taken from the from this this scale this normal basic scale you know and when you play this kind of um, scale so pentatonic and you can move like forward and backwards however you want then you can just improvise and you can be sure that each note suits and then i can show you if you want you can also uh, take something to write because I prepared something like this. I, I can even show you this. Now at the beginning, we can try to uh, play uh, the second octave because this is more easy than another one. And that means that we have to our disposition five notes like four blow out. I will repeat four blow out, four blow in, and then we have five and then six, six blow in and seven i will show you then maybe maybe you can have a look because i think a moment ah oh, can you see the first this one this one four this is blow in this is blow out and in the crowd and uh, with this with a cir circle you have blow in you can write it down four four five six six minus and seven and if you write it down, then we can play a little bit. I will play this with you pretty slowly. Blow and draw. Uh, that means, yeah, exactly. This in, I will show you again. Exactly. This is blow without anything is meant. I will show you. Yeah, this is blow and this is draw, okay? Blow, draw. In the circle or with the minus is draw, okay? For blow, Four, draw, five, blow, six, blow, six, draw, seven, blow. And you have the basic at the beginning because this you can, if you don't know another te technique with the harmonica, you can just play like that. And when we can do just normal exercise, we can play this pentatonic forwards and backwards. And Eberhard, will help us to play a little bit like this. D, 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 Dora, Dora. One, two, three, four. And backward. And again, please. Exactly. 
exactly. Thank you very much. And then I will show you for the people who are play a little bit more harmonica. This is the third octave. Third octave is, I can show it because it's perhaps more easy. This is, this is this one. That means seven blow, eight draw, eight blow, nine blow, 10 draw and 10 blow. Yeah, I can, I can tell it again. Seven blow, eight draw, eight blow, nine blow, 10 draw and 10 blow. And then you can try, this is the same thing that I have one octave higher, uh, higher because I want to show you through the whole harmonica and then you can practice at home. Now we will do exactly the same exercise with Ibaha that you can play with us a little bit practice that. And after that, we can try to improvise a little bit. One, two, three, seven, four. Play again, please. And backward. Shut again. Much of a heart. Great. And then I can show you how it works the first octave. This is a little bit more complicated because you have bending here. Uh, seven, seven blow, exactly. Nine, exactly. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I can even read uh, um, the chat sometimes. Yes, exactly. And the first octave, this is again, I would tell you, this is one blow blow out uh, and one to draw and two blow three blow and then you have three draw but with bending i will show you after that and four blow out i will show it this is this one you can have a look here because i wrote it down that you can see it one blow one draw two blow, three blow, three bending, and four blow. This is the same pentatonic, just one octave deeper. And then we can try it. I mean, maybe I can uh, play you at the beginning that you can hear uh, how it, uh, um, how it, how it uh, sounds when you, when I played it with the bending. <laughs> That means that bending with three bending is the same note like six draw. This is the same. That means if you are not sure how it should sound, you have like that. Six draw is the same like three bending with two uh, apostrophe. <laughs> I don't know what is in apostrophe in, in English, but you can understand what I'm talking about. Okay, let's practice this. One, two, three, four.
Thank you very much. And I think as a, the best, the best idea would be if you are practice the first octave, the second and the third octave that you can play. When I have a look to uh, blow exactly a three, three. Yes, exactly. This, this is right. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Because um, yeah, uh, I should tell like that if somebody doesn't know it, uh, three blow is the same note like uh, to blow. This is the same note. So, but I prefer to play mostly um, a three blow because it's, because in the pentatonic, like I do is for me, for me, more comfortable to play uh, the notes like that. I, I have the impression that this is uh, this same scheme, like from the second or third octave then, and you don't have to combine too much, but you can, you can find it out uh, for you what the best is. Um, and then I come back what I wanted to tell because the best would be if you can practice at home through the whole, this came through the whole harmonica from one till 10. I will show you that because of course you have to practice if you can play with me, but I will show you this. <laughs> your way that you can you can be sure uh, if you can play I'm telling like that if you move in this corridor of the pentatonic you can uh, just to, to try to play to, to improvise and this we try to do now that means we will play uh, in in D major now because we have still D harmonica uh, the same song which we played at the beginning uh, and maybe we can do even like that, that you can a little bit learn uh, the way I am phrasing, maybe, because this is also very important. And also I make some breaks when I'm playing. I don't play too much at the beginning. And then when I want to develop this, increase the speed, then it, later I do like that. Uh, maybe I can do um, like that. I will play at the beginning and you can listen when I'm playing and then you can try to play something like that or this way just to take something for you and you have to remember each note to blow suits only blow in not everything but blow to blow uh, suits everything so we will start I'm play, I play at the beginning and then I will show you, I can listen to and then you can try to uh, use uh, pentatonic. Okay, Eberhard, one, Benson, one, two. The gleich on Benson. One, two, three, four. Try to play something. Play, please. Try to play. Try to move in the corridor of pentatonic. And each note, low, shoots. Exactly.
very good. Uh, and you could hear also that it's not only pentatonic, the, there are also a lot of stuff which I do in between. That means sometimes I try to do bend, uh, to make a bending. Uh, for example, if I have uh, six draw that you could hear, I did not only straight note like that, but I did like that. You could hear, and this makes uh, very nice, and also bending um, with eight or nine, like that. <laughs> could you hear? And this makes that is um, his life, the, the whole song. And this is not only pentatonic. Or, oh, for example, I make the kind of tremolo like that. Just you can you can just shake your head or just shake your hands. You can do it whatever you want, but you can do also uh, do it more exactly. Like for example, uh, I don't know, five and fifth and sixth um, hole. And you may try to make it a little bit faster, how you want. Very important is the rhythm because this is very important. And what you can do also if you have something with the rhythm, like this piece, which we had, like your tongue is in a lot, like we um, begin, like you see, your tongue is doing a lot. If you have some question uh, to this, you can ask me. If not, then I will change the topic and I will go towards. Do you have any questions? So, so, so there aren't any questions that have come in, uh, Vieta. So I suggest you move on, yeah? I have a question. Oh. Yeah? Do you tongue black or, or uh, pucker? I will show you. Yes, of course. I will show you this is the same, uh, the, the next topic which I want to tell. Uh, because I think uh, tongue black, of course, it won't suit, I think, to this piece. Because I will do like, when I will do, would do like that. And that would not suit really, but I will show you in the next topic. Okay, this is what I want to show right now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. You have any questions? Anyone else? Yeah, this is a very happy scale. <laughs> yeah. What Six is five. the oh. What is the rhythm on the two ticky 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 what two? The What's rhythm? the count? What's the two, count? Two, two, I would say this is um, 16th note. 16th note, note, 16th. Ricky, ticky, ticky, 16th note. Yes. Uh, in, in, in other words, is it one and two and three and four and one? Two. Or one, two, and three, four? One, two, and three, four? Exactly. Or one and two and three and four and? Two. One, two, and three. One, one and, and, and two, two and, and three. three. Exactly. One and the two and then the three. Yeah. Three. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Exactly. Because this is a da 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 The first one is not a sixteenth. This is two. This is a Two ticky ticky ticky. This is the sixth and two ticky ticky ticky. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Any well, question? You you start on one or are you starting on two? Yes. One, two, three. One in one. Mm -hmm. One. On one. Okay. Yeah, this is the, 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 the main rhythm. I start on one and then I make a variation. That means. Sometimes I do two ricky tuku tiki two ricky tiki tiki and then I, sometimes I do ricky tiki tiki ricky sometimes I come and on two sometimes sometimes but this is the variation then you can uh, just to, to try to, to make a variation your own variation thank you thank you you're welcome but the beginning the the the, the main is um, is one exactly mm -hmm. 
Peter, Peter, could you give us the uh, formation for the two ticker, ticker two ticker that you mentioned? Is it two ticker two ticker two ticker? Exactly, Have... this could be also two ticky two two ticker two ticker. Yeah. All right. Okay. Because this you you can as I told you you, you can also you can use the sixteenth yeah in between. Yeah. Two tiki tuku tiki tu riki. You can do. I think the most easiest way is when you when you can just uh, remember this sequence like that. Two riki tuku tiki. Or another one. What is more easy for you? Two tiki tiki tiki. It's also okay. Or for example, two riki tiki tiki. Or the two riki two riki two riki. It's okay. It's also okay. Right. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. May. Up. I. I. It oh. was too fast. I cannot hear it. Uh, <laughs> no, don't worry about that. That's that was something that I, I'd I'd put in. I, I'm okay. just saying. I was just saying for people to, to, that that they can make up their own two ticky rhythms, which is exactly. What you just said. Yeah. Exactly. So the main is as I told, and then you can really combine with the rhythm. With sixteenth, you can also two. No, why is there sixteen is, is very good, I think. Yeah. The best one. Yeah, then if you have no questions, right? Shall we go forward to the next topic? Yeah? Okay, let's do it. Then that because I wrote me down everything what I okay. Exactly. Um I would say we will take the C harmonica now, or we can also take another one, how you want. We can take C harmonica or we can take, for example, A harmonica. What is better for you? A. If you want to take A harmonica, you can take like, you can do like that. If you want to take C harmonica, also you can do like that, and then I can see it. Uh, A harmonica. Okay, one, two, okay, and C harmonica? Okay, I can see it. we take uh, A harmonica. <laughs> okay. I have an A harmonica. Uh, I would like to show you because it was a question also with the tongue blocking. Uh, sometimes like, like that, maybe we can try a topic like a train. It's, uh, Anybody interested in how I do? Maybe I can play uh, at the beginning. Yeah, okay, I see it. Okay, we'll do. <laughs> okay, I can demonstrate you a little bit what I mean, and then I can show you what you can do, what you can practice to this. The beginning is like that. <laughs> to see it okay great then maybe we can start to make a, again main groove for that uh this is a train groove because the train and everything has to drive uh the key i have to explain for uh, those people who doesn't who don't know it the key of the piece of that is e because when I have a A harmonica in the key of A harmonica, the key of the of the piece when I'm playing a blues like that is E. This is the second uh, position of the harmonica. And look, we have the main groove. We take at the beginning again the same uh, holes of the harmonica from one till four from one till four and we play the chords and we have at the beginning twice blow in and twice blow out and again twice blow in twice blow out and this is all the time like a sprinkle 
the same. We can play this only with harmonica. We can play also to the um, uh, to the blues if you want. But we need a blues in um, we can start to do it like that, okay? Twice blow in, twice blow, twice blow out. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Exactly. This is the same. You can also, what you can do, you can also play the single notes, like one draw and one blow out. Also the, the same scheme. And you can also fire and make a variation out of that. We can try one, two, three, four. The single. Again. Exactly. And then we have a, this signal like that. In the middle of harmonica, I would say, in the middle of harmonica, I would say from four till seven, till seven to draw, we can do like that. Okay, then let's do the whole groove and then I will show you more. We have like that, like that. Draw twice, blow twice, draw twice, blow twice, draw uh, twice, blow uh, twice, and then we have uh, uh, this signal. Okay, I will show you again. Draw. Signal. So we can play together now. One, two, three, four. you can add another groove somebody taught me about tongue blocking you can also play this kind of rhythm maybe i can explain at the beginning what tongue blocking um, uh, is because i suppose not everybody know it um, the first exercise to make a tongue blocking maybe i can also show how it how it works that you can hear the melody and the, and the rhythm uh, the beginning is that you, this is very important when you put your tongue on the harmonica like that, does not matter now where, yeah, like that, you have to hear any notes, you have to hear something that means like that. You can hear something, does not matter now what, what kind of notes. And then if you blow out while you blow it out, you have to put your tongue away, but still blow out. And you have to move your tongue like that. Maybe I will show you like that, that you can hear. On the harmonica, away. On the harmonica, away. On the harmonica, away. On the harmonica, away. But you have to, as I told you, when you blow out and the tongue is on the harmonica, you have to hear any note. So we can try to, I can show you, okay? You can try to um, try to practice this, but as I told you, the tongue on the harmonica. I have to have a look on the harmonica away, on the harmonica away, and you have to while you you blow in, you have to put your tongue on the harmonica and away. Okay, but that was not blues. You can also use it not to blues. But for the blues groove, uh, still, uh, for example, yeah, blues groove or uh, like a train blue, uh, groove, um, it's three draw. This is our note. Three draw. And then you can do like that. You can put your tongue on the one and the second first and the second channel like that, that you can hear only three draw. And then you can put your mouth 
on the channel four, like that. Uh -huh. My tongue is on the harmonica, but you could hear only three, like. And then, while you draw in, draw, you have to put your tongue away, like that. And then you have full chord. So that means like that, when that tongue is on the harmonica, on the first and the second channel, you can hear only three draw. And when you put your tongue away, that you can hear the chord, like that. Exactly. And if you have now the another one, blow out three blow. The same situation. You have to put your tongue so you don't change anything. You put your tongue on the first and second channel, and you can hear only three like that. And if you put your tongue away, then you can hear the chord. And uh, the skin will be like that. Only one time. Three draw, two draw. I will tell to draw. Tongue on the harmonica, the tongue away. And then blow out, tongue on the harmonica, tongue away. And then again, blow in, tongue. You see, your, your tongue is working very regularly. That means like that, like that, but you have to only change your breath. So I will repeat it. Blow in and, and blow out. Blow in, blow out. I will play you very slowly that you can hear it. You can hear the, the train is driving. And then again, of course, combine with your rhythm, which we have like this. Blocking. That means, but the, the, the very important thing is that you start because this is a second position. You start always this kind of groove to draw, not to blow, but to draw. That means you can also make with a five, number five of the harmonica here, that you can put the tongue the same way, the same way like we did with the three minus and three blow out, like that. is blow in and then is true uh, to draw and then blow out and then you can combine for example five blow in and five is exactly and five blow out and the same with the four for example four to draw and then four blow out and then you can hear a very nice groove like that <laughs> And then you can combine this with the first group, with the second group, which we did. Three, draw, three, blow. I will show you. And actually, you can also make a variation. You can do through the whole harmonica if you want, just to, to stay uh, pretty stable with the rhythm. I can show you and try to play with me. One, two, three, four.
Great, you can hear not much notes, but you can really do very nice stuff. And also one thing that I want to show you, also without uh, to, to know what kind of scale I will use, uh, I will use because okay, I will tell you now uh, uh, after that. You can also play like like uh, single notes, five draw, and then five blow, and then four draw and four blow like that. The rhythm is very important. We can practice this a little bit. Five draw, because I, will, I want to show you something. Uh, five blow, five, uh, sorry, 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 I made a mistake. Five draw, five blow, four draw, four blow. And again, five draw, five uh, blow, uh, four draw, four blow. You see, the scale of the breath is the same. This is very important. What you do after that doesn't matter. It will suit, but you have to remember this. Okay, one, two, three, four. Exactly. And, then, and now I want to show you something very funny. If somebody doesn't know it, if you stay with the breath like that, you can all, all, only add shaking <laughs> of your head or of your, of your hands. Very, very, this has to be very, uh, yeah, like that. The food does not, it cannot be stiff, you know? And we can do like that. Exactly the same. So draw, blow, draw, blow. I do like that, you know, I can show you because I see, <laughs> I see that uh, sometimes it's not very exactly what you can see, but I will show you very slowly in, uh, at the beginning. Do you see, I just move harmonica in my mouth. And, but you have to remember, you have to be stable with the breath. One, two, three, four. A train. to make really nice soli, uh, to play harmonica and to improvise. And now I want to show you also something uh, to this because I told you about the pentatonic first position, but of course you have to, uh, you have to know that it's, it's uh, very important to know what, um, what kind of hole are when you play the pentatonic for the second position. Because I will show you now, this what I improvise now. This is also pentatonic. This is also this kind of stuff which we did now, but also pentatonic. I will show you maybe a very short how it sounds that you can hear. And how can you play it with the same? One, two, three, four. Pentatonic. which we uh, learned at the first position, but I will tell you now how it works in the second position. Uh, so that means this you can use not only for blues, of course, but blues also. And uh, this is like that. You can also 
um, I split up this also to the to the octaves because it is very good for the talk. And I think the scheme is uh, similar for the first octave and the second, the third octave. That means uh, this sounds through that. This sounds also uh, yeah very nice and interesting. Um, so we can do like that. One draw, two blow, three blow, and then we have bending three. So that means three uh, draw bending, and then three draw. At the beginning like that, okay? Um, this you can write it down, I can see here. This is this one at first, okay? Not, not here, but only this one at first, okay? If you are not sure, I just need to put it in Chinese English for you to get an interpreter. Okay, that means uh, one draw, two blow, three blow, three bending, draw, and three draw. And now we can do the same what we did uh, before. Ibrahim will play for us the same. Uh, uh, the same blues, but a little bit maybe slower. Okay, one, two, three, four. And backwards. You can also put to the blues, you can also play not blues, how you want the whole music, the basic is pentatonic. But I can show you now the second octave that you can have um, uh, this through the whole harmonica. And maybe you can hear it like this, this is the same, I can show it. This is four draw, five blow, six blow, six, uh, six draw, and seven draw. I can repeat it. Four draw, five blow, six blow, six draw, seven draw. And I can play this thing because this is a, uh, you see, I just split this like, like it's very comfortable for the tongue that you can, that if you, if you uh, learn one octave to play one octave, then it's very similar to play the second octave and then to play the third octave because this is the same scheme from the breath. So now we can try to practice a little bit the second. Exactly, exactly, very good. Yeah, Sam. Um, Sam is my uh, translator. Very good, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, one, two, three, four. <laughs> And again. And again. And the last one, please. Tell you something because I have an idea. Um, we can play the second octave, and you have in the second octave, which you played now, six draw and seven draw. You can also make a kind of tremolo like this. You can hear Alice again alive. It's, it happens something when you play like this, and you can. Yeah, you are not uh, very shy, but you can, you can also do something out of that. 
so I can show you again. like that you know this is this is up to you how what you what you do out of that but this is very nice that you can really improvise uh exactly and also i can tell you something very nice leak okay because when we are uh, on the blues very nice leak like that this is concerning the first octave there's a kind of guitar leak that means you can play three draw bending and then three draw and then four draw and again all the time like a circle the same like that and then you can put everything what you what what i gave it uh, to you today and then you have very nice uh, improvised uh, improvising um, okay, then I would like to say the third octave because um, I want to show you this through the whole harmonica. It is eight draw, eight blow, nine blow, and ten uh, draw. Of course, it could be uh, ten also with the bending a blow, but it's uh, at the beginning you don't need it. Uh, but if you if you can do it you can also after after 10 draw you can uh, make uh, 10 with bending like that but if you don't you can if you cannot do it you can also uh, do without it without this and it works like that i can show you and with bending would be like that But it is not very easy, but you can really do the bending with a 10. But you can practice. If you can do bending, you can practice. The other, please, can you repeat the third drill? Then if you, um, what, what should I repeat? The three of uh, a draw, um, aha, with the, with the first octave, uh, probably I should uh, repeat. I can tell you, okay. This is again, uh, one draw, second, Channel blow, three blow, three bending, three bending draw. Ah, I know what you mean. You mean you meant probably this leak which I wrote you, because I saw one commenter, but this is very uh, very fast uh, running. It's like I think okay, I can repeat you. I know what you mean. Uh, three. Uh, that was like this. Three bending. Three. Draw, but both are draw. And then four draw. I will repeat it again. Three draw bending, three draw, and then four draw. This is like that. Sometimes it's very, very difficult for me to, to read everything because there are a lot of commentars, but they are going running very fast for me. But Sam has um, everything under his control. Three half steps. Ah, yeah, okay. Three half step. Half step. Because a triplet. Yes, exactly. This is a triplet. Yes. This is a triplet. This is a triplet. And this is also, uh, this is three bending, one step. Exactly. This I, I could read. <laughs> um, I would say we can try to, now you know it, we can try to just uh, feel you're comfortable and free and we will play the blues. You can try to listen what I'm playing. We, will, we can improvise a little bit with, with uh, Eberhard and then you can try to join us and try to put everything, if it's possible, everything what, what I told you today with the, about the second position, of course, second position. So A harmonica, can you see it? A harmonica, moment. Yeah, A harmonica and the blues is the key of the blues is E. One, two, three, 
fall. Question about this. Of course, this is a topic when you can. I can also uh, put a lot of information. Sean is speaking and it out. <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> I play again? Let's. I can show you also what you can do with the pentatonic. Just pen, not only pentatonic, but this uh, with this um, licks which you which you get from me. Uh, but I can show you something. It's only pentatonic. It's really when you can practice this, you are really able to do like that. I can show you something. You can also try to play with us. It's a little bit fast, but yeah. That was our pentatonic. Uh, yeah. And do you have any question? Any questions, anyone? Do you want to unmute yourself or? No, it doesn't look as though there are, are any questions. 
Um, do you, in the in the middle of playing, but do you switch from puckering to tongue blocking to changing your embouchure depending on what's going on? Of course, yeah, because sometimes I played tongue blocking, then I didn't play any tongue blocking. I played, um, yeah, yeah, of course. I didn't play uh, tongue blocking, but I played the, the, the same lick, which, which I get it too, but, but faster. And yeah. then I did only, only the shaking, you know? But I did it pretty fast, the same way. So you have to breathe like that, but... So you've, you've you've had a good hour there, haven't you? So, so you're probably tired now. <laughs> hour, hour and ten minutes of talking. It's it's up to you. You can you can do another scale, okay. or or you could play us out, or. Then if you want, I can also uh, show you a pentatonic from a start the third position because actually my um, uh, favorite position on the harmonica, which I really really like to play, is the third position, and um, it's give you. A, uh, the possibility because a lot of uh, harmonica player uh, were asking me uh, or they told me just that they cannot play in the uh, in the minor key. So uh, the great position to play also in the minor key is the third position. I can show you maybe at the beginning. Uh, we need the D harmonica. Play a little.
that was the thank you very much that was the third position of the harmonica and you can hear it this uh, position i would say um uh, this is main to uh, to play mostly uh, minor key but in blues also you are allowed to play also major key because blues is a, a yeah, kind of combination major and and, and uh, minor but i want to say you because we cannot uh, of course learn everything in once because it's too much i want to uh, tell you um what what you can use to play to improvise in the third position or in a major, uh, minor uh, scale or key uh, that means i have this is the third position as i told and this is again d harmonica d and the key of this song is e minor e minor and uh, actually it's like that because i told that i really like to, to play uh, this to use this this key this scale or this this position to improvise actually you you are allowed to blow in or blow out to draw and to blow everything the whole harmonica I, yeah but if you want to have more exact scale i can of course tell you but anyway you can try but but you have to remember if you want to improvise so the, the first tip um that you that you can improvise it's like that you can just try to to blow out and blow in whatever you want but you have to remember that the main thing is blow in because uh, the e note on the d harmonica is for example one draw or for example four draw so you can <laughs> like that but you can stop like to draw and this is the first very important thing but of course i will tell you the scale uh which you can play again i will start to, to from the second uh octave and the second octave will be four blow out and then four draw and then five blow five draw six blow and six draw and seven blow i can show like that and you can have a look if you write it down write it down right this is this one yeah four blow four draw five blow five draw six blow six draw seven blow and you can also you see um seven draw is not always i'm not always good that's why that's why it's this case this is not only pentatonic this is this is like a scam that you can use the whole harmonica i wanted to show you uh not limitate you that you are not allowed to play this or, or that just to use the whole harmonica how you want and also i can show you the third octave it's written here if you see uh this is seven blow eight draw eight draw uh and, and i will repeat it because no, again seven blow eight blow me sorry <laughs> because seven no again seven blow eight draw eight blow nine draw nine blow ten uh, draw and ten blow and this is the third octave exactly the same scale you have in the first octave but you have to also uh hear bending this is a little bit similar like you like you use the first uh the first position but the the difference is that here you can uh, you can take care about to draw you can stop and the draw and then you can improvise and the first position is this different that you that you uh, that the main thing is blow out so each note to blow out suits and the first octave you have like that and you can hear you can see it okay one blow one draw two blow 
to draw but with bending and then you have three blow and then three draw again bending and then four blow both bending the one uh, tone step and then you have this kind of this kind of scale <laughs> If you wrote it down, you can try just to improvise to use the harmonica. The key of this is E um, minor, and you can try just to, to uh, jam with us to improvise because now you know how to use this key. Maybe uh, for the beginners, if you are not really uh, sure about the first octave, the third octave, it will. If it will sound very good, you can try to start to improvise uh, from the second octave, from four till, till uh, seventh hole, because I think it's at the beginning more easy. Okay, I will start it and you can join us. It's the second octave. Play with that. This is second still. You can also play the chord like this, blow in. From four to six. Till six. Draw. Or from eight to ten. Draw. And you have nice chords. This is what I used when I played. My question, do you have any question? Of course, there, there could be many of them, but to this, what I taught at the beginning, no questions. Okay, then you, if, you, if you want, you can take C harmonica and we will also play in D. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, and we'll play in the, D minor, D minor key. Okay, so we need C harmonica, C. And we'll play also in a minor key, is it in a D minor? <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Okay, let's play the last piece. 